do not let your hearts be troubled. Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Blessed and fantastic Friday, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear kababayans, my dear good people of God, and my dear faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. Today is May 13, 2022, Friday within the fourth week of Easter, and our gospel for today is from the account of John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. Do not let your hearts be troubled. That is the line in today's gospel that touched me most, that moves my spirit and my heart into this reflection. Do not let your hearts be troubled. These are the words of reassurance, words of consolation that Jesus spoke to his disciples the night before his crucifixion in the context of the Last Supper. And you know what, my dear people of God, my dear friends, my dear followers, Jesus senses that like his disciples, we too are troubled. We too are anxious and full of fears. Many of us, we have lots of worries. We have lots of concerns that makes our hearts and mind troubled. It's good to ask ourselves this morning, what makes your hearts troubled? What are your worries? What are your great concerns? Give it all to God. Offer it to Jesus. Why? Because He is the solution to our troubled heart. Jesus is the relief to all our worries and anxieties. Believe in Him. Have faith. Why? Because I firmly believe worry ends when faith in God begins. Worry expires when faith in God begins. Have faith. Don't worry. Why? Because 99% of the things we worried about does not happen. Worry is just a misuse of imagination. Father Pio is reminding us, hope, pray, and don't worry. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, if your hearts are troubled, Come to Jesus because He is the answer and the solution to all our troubled hearts. Secondly, the gospel also is reminding us that the greatest desire of God is to take us with Him. God wanted us to be with Him because in the gospel for today, He said, I will come again to take you to myself. And that is the greatest desire of God, to take us with Him. Because no one can snatch us out from the hands of God. And finally, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel for today, God promised us heaven. I am going to prepare a place for you. And you know what? There is no other way to eternity. Only Jesus can lead us and can bring us to heaven. By the way, today is May 13, and the church celebrates the apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary to the three shepherds' children in Fatima. And the promise of the Blessed Mother is, I mean the words of the Blessed Mother to these three young children is to pray every day, especially the Rosary. Mother friends, mother brothers and sisters, connecting the apparition of the Blessed Mother to our gospel for today, God promised us heaven. He wanted us to bring to heaven. 
But we need to do our part. And our part is, we need to, to pray. That's the words of the Blessed Mother. Pray every day. Pray. And second, you need to do penance by repenting your sins. Do penance by turning away from sins. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, heaven is reserved for those who people who turn away from their sins. Believe in God. Give your worries to Him because He is the way, the truth, and the life. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear kababayans, my dear good people of God, my dear friends, my dear followers, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God.